What's going on everyone and welcome back to Minion Simulator where today we're gonna be checking out every single thing about the brand new update including the new pets in every single variant from Golden, Rainbow and Dark Matter and we're gonna be hatching some of these and look at this, this is the brand new Buddy 3. This should have been one of the hugest to be honest, it looks so good. Now something that happened recently is that I was gifted a Rainbow Dark Lord by Chase and I made it into a Dark Matter and because I had that in my inventory I jumped to number one. That was the only reason. Now I'll be dead honest with you guys, I know I do not deserve that number one spot and it's only because we're approaching closer towards the end of the leaderboard runs, that's why I'm at number one. The previous rank one and two players haven't even equipped the Dark Matter Dark Lord yet. So what I decided to do is pay tribute to one of the greatest players of all time and that is Chase. And I have no idea why Cat is missing his head. <laughs> But anyway, let's talk about this update. We have five new exclusives, six new pets, a new chest, new zone, new rank, and of course the usual, the new achievements and the new hidden pin. Now if you're one of the few unlucky ones that have this current problem where you try to claim the pin and it doesn't register, all you have to do is be patient because the developers are working on it. There is about maybe seven or eight people that reported it so far to the devs and they are working on it and it's a top priority. Now this is a chest that we have to talk about because the buddy 1, the buddy 2 and the buddy 3 pets they look gorgeous. Compared to what the meme chest was, this is a huge upgrade compared to that. Obviously that's a meme and this is a mythic magic theme, but the huges are a different case. The 1.5% the pyro princess you can currently buy it for about like 550 to 600 million and for the huge wise warrior on the first few hours of the update when there was like five of them that exists two of them were sold for equivalent to 1 billion one of them for eight dragon masks which is exactly 1 billion gold the other one for exactly 1 billion gold the reason why they do that is because i think in my opinion a lot of people when they see a huge that is a human which we call a humanoid huges they are just scared to keep it in their inventory because they know that people in game, they're not a fan of that. Even though the huge mage is basically a humanoid huge, it isn't the same as like let's say the cupid or the disco DJ, it's not the same, it's not on the same level. That is beautiful, well designed, well thought out, it is one of the best looking pets and the most expensive pet in game. There are people willing to give you 40 huges just to get one of those. So like, a lot of people either like it or they, they just don't. For this update though, the humanoid huges that they delivered, I think that what they were trying to keep in mind is to deliver something that's similar to the huge mage and they basically gave the people what they wanted. Now these buddy pets, they look really good. The buddy one pet still looks good compared to what it used to be in the, in the past. And oh, there we go, we got a light thing as well. Wow, okay. By the way, if any of you guys have one of these lightning exclusives and you want to sell it, I promise you I will overpay for them. Just let me know and reach out to me on Discord. Now let's talk about the pets because we hatched a total of 16 chests, we didn't get any huges, so we're gonna focus on the pets for now. For the first one, this is the common pet, the Charlie Powers pet, 7.57 trillion as a golden. If you guys don't remember this movie, this is one of the most hilarious movies I've ever seen in my life. It's Austin Powers, baby, yeah! <laughs> the voice of Austin Powers, it's so amazing. 52.2 trillion as a dark matter, that is really good for a common pet. We got the obliterator, get to the chopper! 9.74 trillion as a golden, now let's see it as a rainbow. And it's got 22.3 as a rainbow, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. Affirmative, 66.6 .6 as a dark matter, that's a perfect number for the obliterator. Next up we got the Relic Hunter, based on Dr. Indiana Jones. I don't think there's any accent or any way to do Indiana Jones, it's just a middle-aged American doctor, like there's no other way to do this. 45.9 as a rainbow, and then as a dark matter, this pet has 138 trillion. I'm a huge movie geek, so if I get into these voices, it's because I love the movies. But I don't know what this pet is based on, and this is the new epic pet, it looks really good. I think maybe the Adams Family, but Mr. Cage, I don't know about that name. 599 trillion as a dark matter, and you know what, this kind of reminds me of Gomez from the Adams Family, Wednesday's father, I think that's what it's based on. 
but the next one seems like it's based on Morpheus from the Matrix. 518T for this pet, this is called Lucidus, and as a rainbow, let's go ahead and do that and see what it is as a rainbow. Should be pretty good. And yep, 1.19Q. That's what the new legendary stat is. That's impressive. But as a dark matter, look at the stats on this pet. As a legendary dark matter, this one has a whopping 3.58Q, which is just insanity. <laughs> You guys have no idea how excited I was to see this happen in game. The fact that they introduced the Dark Lord in game based on Darth Vader, the character from Star Wars, the most iconic super villain in movie going history. This is based on Darth Vader. Thank you so much to Chase for giving me the rainbow one and from that I was able to make this into a dark matter and my score jumped all the way to the top to number one. This has alpha one enchants, lucky one. That is pretty good. And what can I say? I'm probably geeking out here from how much I love Star Wars myself, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, and this is a fun set to see. Phenomenal jump from liftoff games as usual. Now let's look at the powers once again, this is Charlie Powers, 52.2 as a common pet, and then next up is the Obliterator. Again, these are really good for beginners if they reach that stage. If they haven't reached that stage, if you can get these pets and sell them on the trading plaza, you can get a lot of gold for them. And this is the Relic Hunter 138 trillion. Look at the difference. Look at the power stages. 50, 60, that jumps up to 100, jumps up to 599. And then if you look at the legendary, the legendary 3.58Q, it is only slightly lower than Bigfoot. Bigfoot was the previous greatest stat pet, but this is 3.58. I'm guessing people who are aiming for the leaderboards are gonna hunt for this. They're gonna keep on piling their inventories and having a lot of these pets. The new secret pet, the font by the way guys. Liftoff games, how did they not notice that the font, you can't even see the writing anymore. But these are the pets. These are all of the new pets. They look amazing. I think that they did a great job here. One of the best looking sets so far in my opinion. Not because I'm only a movie geek and a movie goer, but still, it's a very well designed set and thanks to the artist for really taking the time into making this happen. Now let's talk about the huges because this is the 1.5% known as the huge pyro princess and it looks stunning. You can't really tell how amazing this looks unless I pause the side view to show you exactly how massive those rings are in the back. I'm going to do that later on, but look at this. Look at this pet. It looks like the phoenix from X-Men or something. I mean, look at it. The side view, look at those rings, look at how far it reaches out in the back. That's how humongous this pet is. Comparing it to the previous 1.5%, oh my god, the previous 1.5 is a sad joke. The size of it, it shouldn't even be called a huge. If you look at the pot of gold as a mythic, the mythic pot of gold, put it next to the huge hamster, it's the same size. It's not even a huge. It is a sad case for a huge and you can't even sell it for 230 million gold. I know because I used to have a lot of these. When I asked a lot of people which one did they like more, the wise warrior or the pyro princess, they said the pyro princess. Now I didn't have the opportunity to have this in my inventory or to borrow it. A lot of people, they are expecting me to pay 500 million just to borrow. But someone sent me this and they saw a person with a huge wise warrior in the server. I'm really sorry about the quality. But I kind of like had to blow everything up just so you can see it clearly. And I don't know guys, what do you think of this? What do you think of this pet? Do you like it? Do you not like it? A lot of people love it. A lot of people don't really like it. But because it's a 0.5% huge, they want it. But to each their own, so everyone has their own opinions. I don't have permission to use this video from the owner to show this pet. But I'm going to give a shout out anyway because I'm told that the owner of this pet is a really really nice person and an honest trader. The person that does the trading for me in the trading plaza, they had some good things to say about Mandalo who, who owns this huge and yeah thanks to them for showing this. I didn't have any permission and no time to contact anyone because I had to have this video out as soon as possible. Apologies about that in advance. And that's it for this update everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed that. If you did it would mean a lot to me if you can leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed already please do so that would mean so much more. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all 
on the next one.